Uh, we do still have a recessionary economic background, but I think it, what has happened is that there was an extreme fall in transactions last year, uh, as a lot of potential buyers stayed away from the market because of the uncertainty. Uh, they have now re-entered because uh, of the government interventions that have stabilized uh, the banking system and cleared a lot of that uncertainty. Well, I'm joined now by chartered financial planner Jonathan Davis of Armstrong Davis. Now, I think I'm right, Jonathan Davis, in saying that you predicted that the housing market was going to crash back in 2007. It appears you were right. So tell us, is this the recovery then? The macroeconomic position is as bad as you can get in the Western world in the 21st century, apart from a couple of minor exceptions like Spain and Ireland. In other words, no. The trend is still very much down. No trend goes in a straight line, otherwise it would be called a straight line. OK, so why this blip then, if you think it's a blip, of house prices going up? Even I was forecasting a 15% fall last year, but actually by the end of last year prices had fallen 25%. In other words, some of the falls that I was forecasting for this year came in last year. Of course, there's been massive government stimulus, um, interest rates were slashed, so which meant deposit returns were tiny. So what's happened is a lot of people think, the world is sorted out. Barack Obama's president, he's going to sort out the world, isn't he? We'll buy property. The transaction numbers are still tiny relative to sustainable price rises. They're about 40 or 50,000 a month. They have to be about 80,000 a month for prices to be sustainable. OK, so this is a, a, a blip because yes. of, uh, there's a, not enough supply, there's a lot of pent-up demand, interest rates are low. So how far after that little rise will prices then fall again, do you think? Well, prices are approximately about 20% down from the high. I've been forecasting for quite some time that they will eventually fall 40 to 50% from the high in September 2007. Nothing at all has changed that forecast. Unemployment is soaring at 100,000 a month. Government debt is massive, which means that taxes are rising and they're going to go through the roof next year. Public sector spending is going to go through the floor. Interest rates are uh, rising in the sense that mortgage rates are rising and they'll rise further. The macroeconomic position is terrible. House prices are going to fall a further 25% within two or three years from now. OK, so anyone who owns a property will be deeply depressed by what you've said because many of them may find themselves in negative equity. However, does this mean it's good news for first-time buyers trying to get onto the property ladder or are they going to continue to be hindered by the very high demands that lenders are putting on them? There will still be high deposits required. Two-thirds of mortgages are with 25% uh, at least deposits. That will continue for many years because of banking lending restrictions. The banks are terrified to lend because they know how bad it is. Um, in general terms, um, those who are renting, those who aren't on this mythical ladder are in are having a whale of a time because the trend is still down. When they come to buy in a couple of years' time, it'll be like a kid in a candy shop. They will not believe the prices. Those who are up to here with debt and uh, uh, they've put all their future into houses, they've got severe economic problems, I'm afraid to say. Um, okay. But, you know, many of us said it before it happened. Those who said no one could have foreseen this crisis need their head examined because many of us said it was going to happen, not just me, as I said at the beginning of the piece. OK, Jonathan Davis, interesting to talk to you. And we'll get back to you in a couple of years to see if your latest predictions are right, too. Thanks very much. Now, about 300 workers at domestic appliance firm Indesit have lost their jobs after production ended at a North Wales factory. The factory made washing machines for half a century. Many of the workers say they are bitter that Indesit, formerly Hotpoint, is likely to switch production to Poland from its factory near Rill. Royal Dutch Shell has warned of substantial job cuts to come after posting a 70% slide in profits in the April to June period compared to the year before. The Anglo-Dutch firm said energy demand is weak and industry costs are high.